everyone, and welcome back to the Nurse on the Go podcast. In today's episode, we will be discussing the nursing school supplies that you need. All these supplies are my personal favorites and helped me get through my first two years of nursing school. And today, I will be sharing them with you so that your nursing school years go by very smoothly. So I've come up with a very grand list of many different things that I recommend for all of you guys, and I wish I had all these things sooner. But now that I'm explaining it for all of you, you guys can get a head start on your nursing school years and be very much well prepared. The first thing that I recommend you have for nursing school as an essential is colored pens and highlighters. I know that I literally highlight and use color pens for pretty much everything that I write down in nursing school. Besides it having a very pretty aesthetic, I really enjoy using different colored pens and such because it just helps me retain the information better. And by just seeing it in a different color besides black, I know that my brain is picking up on it a lot better. I have heard that if you used the color red when writing down things that you wanna remember, it tends to stick in your brain for longer and it tends to be bold in your brain. So that's a very great tip if you wanna try that out, if you have to memorize something for a test coming up. And just along with that, it makes your notes look a lot prettier. And by having a lot prettier notes, you'll probably be more likely to read them. Along with that, if you choose to, you can start writing down on your notes different colors for different types of diseases, illnesses, or symptoms that go in similar classes. And by doing that, you can start correlating different things to one another based on their color. The second thing that I recommend you have in nursing school are sticky notes. So I love using sticky notes because I'm able to just write down something quick and stick it anywhere. And just by writing little jot notes on different things that I can remember, I can always have it with me. I can just put them on my laptop or in my notebook and just add additional information to my notes. And if, for example, I didn't have it written down before, I could write it down now and just place it there so that I always remember that tip. Along with that too, you can get sticky notes in a bunch of different colors and they come in a lot of different variety packs and sizes. So that's the really good thing about sticky notes is they'll also stand out to your brain. Tip number three are flashcards. I definitely did use flashcards in my nursing school years and I know a lot of my friends in nursing school also really enjoyed using flashcards. So flashcards are great because you're able to write down a lot of different information and just use that to study and revise before an exam and they just help you retain a lot of information because you're kind of testing your brain and, and doing just a memory game with yourselves. So flashcards are really good to have. You're able to write down whatever you want on the front of the flashcards and write a definition on the back and just go through all of them so you're refreshing your memory. So flashcards are a very good thing to have for nursing school. Essential number four that I highly recommend is to carry around a little pocket-sized notebook and you can bring that around with you, preferably to clinicals or even labs. And they're just so perfect because they're pocket size, so you can fit them in your scrubs or if you're carrying your backpack, you can fit them anywhere and you can pull them out and when you want to write some notes or if you have to do some charting and just write some quick things down, you're able to just pull it out and keep it strictly based on your patient or you can just add information such as medical terms that you want to memorize or drug lists. So notebooks are really good to carry around with you and I highly recommend them. Another must-have for nursing school is number five, which is a very big one, and it is a planner or agenda. A planner is something that I highly, highly recommend. You're able to write down all the classes that you have for the upcoming weeks. You're able to write down if you have any tests coming up, exams, assignments due. It's just a great way to keep yourself organized and very well prepared before something is due. So by just having that planner with you and crossing off every day and once you complete a certain task, just crossing it off, you know that you're being very accomplished during your day and you're staying on task. So I highly recommend a planner. It'll keep you very focused and oriented on what you have to get done. Essential number six is a drug guide book. A drug guide book is essentially just a small, it can be in any size, but in this case, I'm talking about a small one, a tiny one that can fit in your pocket, and it contains pretty much every single drug known to man. And just by having that in your pocket, you're not going to be so worried having to always know on the tip of your tongue what every single drug does. If you happen to forget something such as a drug, you're able to just open it up, 
look and research and it has everything on there. So it's a very great resource to have with you. You can get it in a pocket size and like the notebook, you can carry these in your nursing scrubs, in your pockets. And it's just a great thing to have with you in case you're about to administer a medication or if your clinical instructor wants to quiz you on a drug, you know that you always have it with you so it can state to you the symptoms, side effects, contradicting drug interactions. So just by having that with you, it's a great resource to look to. Essential number seven is a folding clipbook. So this is something that's very optional if you choose to have it or not. You're, you can be fine with just having the little notebook that you can keep in your scrub pocket. But a folding clipbook is essentially just a clipbook that you can fold so you can fit it in your school bag without crumpling any of your papers and you can just have them nice and put together and you can just use it to put your notes down or if you have a chart on there that you want to fill out for your patient or resident, you're able to do so. Or you can also bring it with you to lab and if you guys are learning something new, such as administering injections or such, you can just write down some information or tips or things that you just learned so you don't forget them and you always have it with you. So tip number eight is a very good one as well. It was my second year that we started using stethoscopes, so I recommend the Lipman Classic 3 that's what I use but I definitely also recommend that you follow your nursing school and what they recommend that you guys do but if you have free liberty to choose whatever set the scope you do want to choose I recommend that you choose the Lipman Classic 3 they come in a variety of colors and you can also get it on Amazon it's a very good set the scope even nurses and hospitals where I'm from use it so it's a very good one to use along with that is to get a set the scope case with it I recommend that you get a case along with it because stethoscopes tend to get destroyed and they're not cheap. So if you just throw them in your backpack, they could get destroyed in there. And if you do repeatedly just throw them wherever, they could get really ruffled up and they could essentially not work as well anymore. So by getting a case, you're protecting it. And you can also keep different things in that case, such as the other nursing school supplies that I'll be stating. So by having the case, you're keeping everything protected and put together. So you can also get the case off of Amazon and they come in a lot of different colors and pretty designs. Essential number nine is along with getting your own stethoscope, I recommend that you get your own blood pressure cuff. So once you get into the term where you're learning about how to take people's blood pressure, you do use the one that your school provides my school also recommended that we purchase our own and that's what i did and it's a great thing to have because you're able to practice at home with your family members or friends and it's just great to have your own because you can like practice on it and get to know it better and become familiar with using one so i recommend that you get your own and it's a very good supply to have with you essential number 10 is getting a medical pen light so a pen light is basically where you flash the light in one of your patient's eyes and it pretty much just sees if the patient's eyes dilate or constricted so by doing that you're able to find a lot of different things about your patient if they're alert and oriented and such so a medical pen light is just a great supply to have. You may have to use it one day if you're doing a head to toe assessment or if your clinical instructor asks you if you have one. It's just a nursing school must have that you should always have on you. Essential number 11 is a watch. So a watch is something that you definitely want to have in nursing school. It's one of the top 10 that you need. And I preferably suggest that you get one that is waterproof because you're definitely going to be washing your hands a lot of times and you don't want to destroy it due to the water. So a watch is something that you definitely want to have with you. You can use it to determine someone's heart rate and respirations. So it's just something that you definitely want to have with you. So essential number 12 is to have medical scissors on hand. So you definitely want to have these. They're not something that you probably will use every day, but it's a great thing that you want to have with you. Like I said earlier, your clinical instructor might ask you if you have one and to get on her or his good graces, it's always great to have one on hand. So I recommend that you have a good pair of scissors with you. You can keep all these essentials such as the watch, the medical pen light, and the scissors in your stethoscope case so it's all put together and you'll never lose anything. The next two essentials that I recommend are things that are not immediate essential or that you have to have on your own, but it's something that you definitely need in nursing school. Essential number 13 is a printer. So you definitely wanna have a printer because you're gonna be printing tons and tons and tons of notes. I'm definitely someone who likes to type up my notes and then use them and print them and then use them to study off of. 
And if you're someone like me who likes to print them as well, you can also use and purchase essential number 14, which is a mini stapler, just a regular size stapler. So you can keep them all together and divide them by lectures or classes. So I recommend that you get a printer and a stapler and there's always ways to be environmentally friendly with all of these things, such as if you choose not to print so much, you can just use an iPad if you have an iPod and just put all your notes and keep it on your iPad or you can keep it on your laptop. You can also just hand write your notes and do whatever pleases you and whatever you prefer to do. Along with that, you don't have to purchase your own printer because they're definitely very expensive. You can always check to see if your school's library provides you with a certain amount of free prints during your school term. I know my school does. Not every school will, and I understand that. So just do whatever you can that will work well with you, but I recommend investing in a printer. Essential number 15 is a big water bottle. You definitely want to stay hydrated throughout your clinical days, lab days, even just regular classes. You might get dehydrated just from walking around. And if you don't have time to have a snack in, at least you'll stay hydrated with some water. So keep a very big water bottle with you, 32 ounce, 40 ounce, 24, whichever you want to carry with you. I have a 24 ounce water bottle and it works really well and it's nice and tall and slim so it fits in my backpack pocket so I recommend that and it's just a great thing to invest and to have always with you. Essential number 16 is also something that is a pretty penny but is definitely essential in nursing school and it's a laptop. So the laptop I use is a MacBook Air and I've used this laptop since my first year of nursing school and I love it so much. It works really well. The battery lasts for a very long time on my laptop. It's also lightweight, so I recommend you get something that's also lightweight because you're going to be carrying this in your backpack and potentially in your clinical bag. So you don't want something that's too heavy and dragging you down or hurting your arms and backs and shoulders. So I definitely recommend the MacBook Air. It's really simple to use. It's really good. It has every single essential application that you need for nursing school so it's something that you really should look into getting i know there's a lot of more inexpensive laptops so look into different laptops that fit your budget and they'll work really well in nursing school but the key tip is to get something that is lightweight essential number 17 is a good pair of clinical shoes so you definitely want to get i recommend you get a new pair of clinical shoes I know for my nursing school, they had some criteria that we must meet. So you definitely want to get something that fits their criteria. But I recommend that you get something that is inexpensive. Of course, you don't want to be spending too much money because you're probably not going to be reimbursed. I just got mine at my nearby Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Just anywhere that sells shoes where you're from, they work really good. And I recommend that you get one that has memory foam. I know mine do. And they worked really well in clinicals. They were comfortable for the whole eight hours that I was there. So I definitely recommend that you consider getting something that has some good cushion for you because you're going to be standing for a majority of the day. And if you're someone who likes to wear compression socks, that's also an essential that you want to get with your nursing school shoes for clinicals. So look into getting some compression socks. You can probably pick some up off of Amazon or at your local nursing supply store. Essential number 18 is also a very big one. This one comes with clinicals. So you definitely want to get a good pair of scrubs. I just got my pair of scrubs that were pretty much inexpensive. I got them on a good sale day and they work really well. I love the different colors and they're so pretty. So you can definitely get some off Amazon and on different popular websites such as Wear Figs or Cherokee. There's many different things that you can go check out. But I definitely recommend as a nursing student, there's no need to invest in $100 plus of a pair of scrubs. I would recommend that you just get some regular schmegular <laughs> pair of scrubs from your local store. I don't recommend that you go far and wide looking for a really expensive pair. So just find something that you can get your hands on, fits nicely, comfortably, and not see-through. <laughs> and yeah, those, those would work really fine. And then once you graduate nursing school and have your first job, you can invest in some really good nursing scrubs. And last but not least is essential number 19, which is your clinical bag. I actually did get a separate clinical bag for my clinicals and I did this because I really didn't want to have to empty out my school bag with all my 
school supplies, my binders, my laptops, my notebooks, and emptied them out whenever I had clinical the next day to fill them up with all my clinical stuff. Along with that, I really also didn't want to just be cross-contaminating the germs from my clinical site into my regular school bag and putting my, for example, my backpack in the hospital or putting my backpack anywhere. I just wanted to keep it separated from all my stuff that I would be bringing to school. So I just got a clinical backpack from a Marshalls near my house or just any store that you have. It was really inexpensive, but it was definitely worth it. I really liked having my own separate clinical bag. I could keep my scrubs in there. I can keep my watch in there, my stethoscope and everything that I needed in there. And it was just great to keep everything separate and not cross contaminate and not have to empty out my school bag every night before clinicals. That's definitely another investment that I recommend you consider getting. Those were all the nursing school supplies that I recommend you have in nursing school. These are definitely all essential and will make your nursing school life definitely so much easier and bearable. I recommend that you consider getting most of these supplies and they'll make your stay and your school experience that much better. So thank you so much for tuning in to today's podcast. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to tune in at the Nurse on the Go podcast on Instagram to see different educational posts that I make as well as inspirational and motivational posts that will keep you uplifted and motivated for your nursing school career. So I definitely recommend that you go check out my Instagram. I want to thank you guys again for tuning in to today's podcast. Don't forget to tune in next Monday for a brand new episode. Talk to you soon. The Nurse on the Go. 